Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for tuning in on your Wednesday morning. Heading out the door, might want a raincoat with all the rain we have in the forecast for today. Temperatures also a little chilly for the start of the day. In the 40s and 50s, warming up into the 50s and 60s for most of us this afternoon. Might get a little break of rain in the middle part of the day, but I think we'll have another chance mainly across southeastern areas later this afternoon. Those temperatures right now, they are nice and cool for us. Pretty seasonal, 40s up to our north and west, 50s to our south. And these right now, 44 Deadford, a little bit warmer, 49 at Holdridge there. And it is 55 at Beatrice. Temperatures will eventually warm up into the 50s and 60s again this afternoon. Those wind speeds right now on the north and east, roughly 5 to 10 miles an hour. Those winds should remain on the lighter side today, but with these lighter winds this morning, also doing us some patchy fog, even some dense fog in some of these areas. Just a mile O'Neill, also at Thedford, two miles. McCook, Holders, Broken Bow, and Ains. I do think that two mile there at Holders might be due to some rainfall taking place at this time, as we do have a few showers and storms across south central Nebraska and northern Kansas as well. So let's get a closer look at where some of these storms are. A good line here, extending from near, say, Kozad down near Minden. A couple of, say, Thunderstorms taking place just north of Kozad there. Some other storms just to the south of Overton Elm Creek working your way. Kearney probably in line to get a little bit of rain here for too long as well. So most of that rain right between Bird Tree and Elm Creek right now. Of course, another sh good shower there just to the south of Minden, maybe in the Macon area. So do look out for a little bit of rainfall this morning. Even northern Kansas getting in on the action as well. A couple of storms in the Phillipsburg area just to the south of there. Even Smith Center just area south and east of there. Get a little bit of rainfall as well. Another round of rain. Some storms expected again later today. A marsh risk here across parts of southeast Nebraska and northeast Kansas for that matter as well. Damaging winds large hill to be the main hazard with any storms that get going again this afternoon. Most of that severe weather will be concentrated later in the day, not necessarily this morning. There are those storms as that front works off to the east again later on today. Storms should be moving out for the most part, at least in those areas tonight. By tomorrow morning, yet again, it could get another round of these showers and storms rolling into the picture here as a cold front. It was sliding off to the south and east. That's going to bring about some cold temperatures for us later, later this week. And, of course, up north might get a little wintry precipitation tomorrow night into Friday morning as well. Better chances of snow in the forecast for this weekend for a lot of our northern and western areas, too. Something to watch out for down the road. Temps today in the 50s, 60s, maybe some 70s there off to our south and east. Temperatures tonight, 40s, 50s, even some 60s. A pretty mild night, all things considered, thanks to that cloud cover. And temperatures tomorrow, what a difference we have here. 46 at Thedford tomorrow, 74 at Phillipsburg, Beatrice, Lincoln, just to name a few places. So temperatures, a good range coming up. A little bit mild here in the Tri-Cities again tomorrow, but we bottom out after that in the 40s on Friday, and then a really cold bla uh, a blast of cold air comes in on Saturday. Just 34 for a high. Of course, got the snow, a wintry mix, some sleet, freezing rain also going to be possible as well. Saturday, early Sunday, just not looking all that fun out there. Temperatures do try and warm up a little bit for Halloween. That's good. It's going to be chilly, though. Maybe if we can just keep the wind down and the precipitation away. It'd be nice. It, it wouldn't be too bad still. Yeah, still. <laughs>